I'll, I'll sort this out next episode. Um. <coughs> oh, that's a um, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. Hey, I'm Wizard, and I'd like to give you a very warm welcome to hell. Yeah, so this is... Um, this is going to be technically a continuation of a series I started seven years ago and made two episodes of that weren't very good. Is this really great to work? Well, oh dear. And then abandoned, which I think I did a lot of um, so that's why we have this stuff, but we're gonna be starting from scratch because this is gonna be a challenge. And yeah, back in that version we had this system where... You'd go in here and there'd be some custom villages and you could like trade quartz and stuff to get items. But now you don't need to do that because we are in 1.16 and you have all the things you need to survive in the nether. Yep. Ah, the villagers are bad. <laughs> if you could be bothered to go and find them. Um, so as with any Minecraft adventure, our first step is going to be to punch a tree. Um, the problem is we have to walk quite a way to get to a tree. Uh -huh. thank, thank you, 2013 was it? <laughs> um, I have done a bit of playing around in this. But this is a a fresh copy of the original world I used all that time ago. So I'm going to start by figuring out how to get down here. Okay, this is the part where it could all go wrong for the first time. It's going to go wrong a lot. But luckily I already have a rough idea of where I need to go to get to the forest. From there it will still be tri tricky, but at least we don't have to flail around for that much. Yes, it's odd things that That's what I found that you might not expect to be the tricky parts, turn out to be the tricky parts. Like I thought the whole piglin training system would be a pain, um, but it turns out that gold is just everywhere, so that's not something you have to worry about, I'm already going the wrong way. Um, the hard part is actually <laughs> getting the stuff back to your base without dying. I'm gonna check the coordinates, give me a moment. Okay, yeah, it's this way. Um, yeah, so I'd say that's actually the main challenge, is just knowing that the game is gonna kill you at random intervals and you have to be prepared for what to do when that happens. And then the other two 
big things that make it different from the overworld. You know, regular survival for normal people. Um, the big things I found was, first of all, food, because we're basically relying on finding mushrooms. Um, and I mean, there are hoglins, but like, there's a late game enemy, so you can't just punch them to death. Well, you can, it's just um, quite difficult to achieve consistently. That's uh, one of the not good ones. That's, uh, oh good, there are some brown mushrooms. I guess the other big thing is that, and the thing that I actually quite liked is that in a regular game, um, you know, you can just dig down and get pretty much everything you need, but in the nether, you know, <laughs> everything is a cave. And to advance through the game and get more things, you actually have to go out, go out and find it. Like, like you see where we <laughs> spawned in the original series, we can't get trees, and that's, you know, fairly crucial. It's a child. Um, Okay, so it's not actually that far, at least now that I know the way. Oh yeah, this is where we had problems before. Um, something kind of cool is that the new nethers, like they haven't changed the underlying algorithm that generates the train. They've just put a load of stuff on top of it, essentially. Aha, uh -huh, there you can see. Nothing interesting actually, I mistook that. So you can sort of, so it just sort of flows on naturally. But occasionally you get some weird stuff like that. And the uh, well, the area where we started actually in the if I were to regenerate it using the seed that's actually a massive what's it called basalt delta um, and if you try to spawn in the same spot you well this happens which is not so great but I thought since The original series didn't actually get played much. We've gone right past it, I think. Well, I didn't play much of it. Um, we didn't generate a whole lot of terrain, so we don't have to go far to find more. Yeah, land climb. Um, so I thought it would be uh, fun to. To uh, stay in the same world. And just, you know. Goodbye. Ooh. That was oh. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, so this is what we did originally. <laughs> yeah, to go through manually. But now we don't have to do that. The ominous rising ghast. Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, I I didn't want to do business with you either. Okay. 
okay, is that what we were at before? Uh, that's the way down, more or less. Not a way up though, we should probably be thinking about that at some point. Oh well. Um, Perfect. Now what? <laughs> okay, I think it must be down there. I realise I'm not explaining much, am I? <laughs> Basically there's, well, a useful spot that we're trying to find. Um, oh, and I should also explain that the goal of this series um, as ever, is to get out of the nether. Um, but because that's actually not that difficult, I think. There's there's part one, but <laughs> not the part we want. Here we go. The crimson forest. That's you know, it's not enough that it's a crimson forest. It's a crimson forest. That's a nightmare to navigate. That's that's how we like it here on Nether Survival. And that's going to be our first tree. Look at that, got wood. We only had to die seven times, but we finally got some wood. I'm actually going to make some bowls like right away because. We really need to eat. Yeah, so this is what you spend most of your time doing. It's putting mushrooms into the bowls. <laughs> so yeah, now <laughs> comes the hard part. <laughs> which is getting all of the stuff, or whatever stuff we're going to get, back to the spawn point so we don't lose it all again. Oh yeah, tools, we should probably get some of that as well. Look at that, it's almost like we're playing Minecraft. So yeah, in my testing this was, I think, the spot where it just walked right into lava and lost everything as soon as we got it. Um, I guess the next step we may as well go straight to stone. Look at that, stone. <laughs> That's progress. We actually get okay. I guess we have to smelt it. So yeah, I thought it's quite nice neat that this is the same world and there's this cool setup with a oh the bastion right next to the crimson forest. Did I finish saying what the objective was going to be? So because just getting out of the nether isn't actually that hard, oh god. Um, yeah, because you have like those things everywhere, like
this is what I came from. safety. And welcome back to another episode of Approaching the Same Place that we already got to. Today, there's a thing there, and there's another thing down there, but it's okay, because this is the stuff we need, it's, it's, it's all here. Ah, oh, good, I got my voice back. I guess the axe is just gone. Those are still coming for, okay. Do, do, do. Ha, that'll stop them. What? They, they can't climb, can they? Should I do something really stupid? I think that's a good idea. Oh, it's okay. I'll do something really stupid on the way. Oh. So we kind of need more wood. Kind of need that back. treacherous. You know, this stuff is actually quite handy because, well last time I checked the piglins won't cross it, which means if you're careful about it, you can do something tactical with it. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, that's as good a place as any. It's kind of... Oh, well, that's a good idea, actually. Okay. Tree punching. But, like, hard. I just realized we've been playing on normal. I'm kind of too scared to turn it up now. Okay. <laughs> Where did the... This is the... This is not the tensest I've ever carved. I've played UHCs and stuff. <laughs> that is in there, right, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just freak ourselves out. <laughs> oh yeah, so I never explained what the objective was. So, before we're allowed to leave this place, we say we, it's just me really, isn't it? I'm going to have to uh, summon and defeat the wither. Which is, you know, that's what you do when you come to the nether. Make things as difficult for yourself as possible. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 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 
could mine like that. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks. Let's just uh, leave them there. Distant explosion noises. Nothing to worry about. Did we miss it again? I'm so good at navigating, really. I have no idea why I keep dying. What? Echo Hex. Justice. Fuck off me. Yeah, there's like three sources of food in this place. There's the mushroom soup, you have pigs that eat you, and chickens. Because why not? I'm not touching that one though. In one of my tests, there's. Oh, I can manage to get a chicken on its own. That was pretty nice. possibly go wrong this time. I know you're desperate to find out. <laughs> wow, okay. Wait, what? It's just gone. So we got that close, but okay. I guess we've still got this and uh, chest in the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, must have despawned. Okay, so I didn't realize we were that close. That's, uh, that's to the re-log and see if it despawns. <laughs> Did not like this. This was really a mistake. Um, <laughs> got no word. We've got the stone, so... I could try and make a break for it in. There's another crimson forest, and I think there's a vault forest, not that far. So we could find stone. D um, wood in the next episode. Let's do that. I'm 
machines. <laughs> So yeah, it's the that's what the nether is like. You get stuck trying to find brown mushrooms because that's your source of life. Chess. We are not good at um, staying in one piece. I bet you never thought you'd see this bit from the other way round. Using the assets from the first level is damn so easy. Just like that, put the balls in the chest. That's the bare minimum you need to survive. stuff as long as you've got balls. Remember in the original I don't think we'd figured out the whole mushroom soup thing and we were just like hitting pigmen in the hopes that they drop pork. Back. <laughs> so much easier to get back than it is to get there. Did I take a different path? No. No, I'm sorry. Simply not allowing any of that. Good afford to run, I guess. It's a bad idea. This way. Or something. And uh, you're know, coming the back way. Problem is, I don't think you can actually get up the back way. I'm sure it's fine. See? <laughs> oh, wait, how do we get back up? This is also the wrong way. <laughs> it's hard for this stuff to be spawn. Now that's strategy. <laughs> I didn't leave it. Okay, so 
so I think we can. deaths in some form or another. I mean, I guess if we can't find the balls, I'll just have to restart the episode again. But you know, you're watching it, so clearly I didn't. So think about that while you're thinking, oh, what a fool, I'll never find it. There's a bit of foreshadowing in here. Now, I feel like we just circled. No, it's here. This is it, isn't it? It's gone. It's totally gone. Yeah, I don't know <sighs> what the point of all that was. Great. I love the nether. It is the best place. Um, I just love how I can lose all my stuff and then lose the stuff I got trying to get the other stuff back. And then just, you know, lose all sense of will or start looking at lava baths and it's like it's probably quite nice and warm there, you know, get some liquid on you. And then you just feel that the weight of that utter desolation because your stuff isn't just gone, it's like it was never there. It's just to be seen again. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I've got a request. Yeah, yeah. See you next time for some more of this. Or somewhere through there is um, uh, the good place. <laughs> um, the, one that, the, the one with the trees that don't kill you. I can make that. Oh well. <laughs>